Shalom, everybody. Welcome to my channel. I appreciate you for coming in with me. Um, we got this video. I'm ready to get in. Let's go. Why does a woman need a man? That's what I mean. They just don't realize it yet. Um, because you try surviving on your own without a man. You cannot wake up in the morning and go through your whole day without having to rely on a man for something. Like what? Why does a woman need a man? This is a question that the only women who ask this question is women who are alone and probably have had a lot of unsuccessful relationships and probably have been alone for a while. I remember a time in my life where I thought that I didn't need a man. I was like, I'm willing to, you know, die alone. I'm done. Like, I'm, and I, I was saying all this at 25, 26. I ain't barely even lived my life yet, but I lived too much life. And that's why. And by too much life, I mean, I've been with too many men. And I've been in too many um, situationships where I just was done. And this is exactly what men don't want. This is why men be wanting younger women. Because we get to this age And this young lady she, This sister She kind of looks like We're probably the same age And she, she's asking this question Why do I need a man? I don't need a man Yes you do Women need men Just like men need women Well Like everything around us Wherever you go You get your petrol Wherever you go And you get the bus Wherever you The, 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 the clothes that you wear Matter of fact, men made everything. Men made this world. Men made most of the things that we use on a daily basis. Men do the hardest jobs. Men are protectors. Men are providers. We absolutely need men. We got to put some respect on men. We absolutely need them. We're in the shop, the designer. You cannot get through life without a man. Men built the world. Like they, they do all of the hard jobs in society, everything that makes the infrastructure run. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying we don't need men. That's not my view at all. But I just feel like this is what and that's another thing when women start talking about i feel i feel i feel i feel this i feel that everything that they're saying is based up off of a feeling instead of logic and and reality i just i don't know personally i don't shut my ears off but i begin to be skeptical of any point that they do make because if it's based upon emotion if you're talking to somebody out of emotion which most women do i've done i know this for a fact remember i'm only always speaking about myself when i'm speaking about other people so if you're always speaking out of emotion how can anybody trust what you're saying because that's just how you feel right now are you going to feel like this 30 minutes from now, 10 years from now? And that's what we should be looking at when we're making opinions as women and basing our lives up off things like, I don't need a man. Are you going to feel like that in 10, 15 years, though? This is like that term left over. I feel like the things you're saying and the over-reliance on men, that's what perpetuates that. What is over-reliance on men? <laughs> a view, because it makes it seem like... A woman literally can't survive without a man. And I feel like you're linking that. Like one thing you mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. you said that there's a link between divorce rates and um, when women were able to get access to birth control. And I feel like in terms of marriage, like when you're, when you're equating marriage with that's when a woman's going to have kids and she's going to take some of the man's income in that sense. I feel like um, I've lost my point now. I forgot. <laughs> You see how she lost her point? She lost her point because she keeps talking about what she feel like and her feelings. Like from moment to moment, a woman's feelings can change. And I mean moment to moment. I don't know if we're all like undiagnosed bipolar, but like moment to moment, a woman's feelings can change. And it's just reality. The sooner you realize that as a woman, the sooner you'll be able to begin to control your emotions and be more emotionally intelligent. Because I'm aware that my emotions are very fickle. They, I can feel irritated one moment and feel in love and loving the next moment. Like, I, I just it just all matters what you feed into. And that's what creates delusion when you feed into these emotions that's not based in reality. What, what I said to, to begin with. You say a lot of I feel like. <laughs> There's a lot of feelings. Is there any, do you come from a place of logic or is this all feeling? What do you think is feeling? Like? What do you think is feeling? No, because you say, I, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like. Okay, so I was just I'll wondering if you're saying that. Like, do you want me to say my, I know? No, no, I don't know. I'm, I'm, is it all feeling? If you tell me it's I, feeling, then mm, it's I, feeling. I don't think it's feeling. This is what I mean. I feel like women have... 
What, what do you want me to say? <laughs> no, that's, that's just how <laughs> girls talk. Talk. It's how <laughs> girls talk. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. 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 Go, go, go. So, um, yeah, from what you said about divorce rates and birth control, I feel like that's where women have gained power in terms of they don't necess- they're not burdened financially. Um, so they're free to leave. They're free to leave marriages. And I feel like that's another reason. Free to leave a marriage. Like... My first marriage, I'm very upset with myself that I didn't do better. It's not that I was supposed to be with him. It was the fact that I made a commitment and I didn't stick to that commitment the way that the commitment should have been stuck to. Like, we should never be looking at marriage as something like, okay, the world gave us divorce. Yah gave us divorce. And so we're able to divorce. But it's like... This is why, see, the way she think, this is why 80% of women leave marriages more than men do. Because we just think that we can just leave. Like, it's not a lifelong commitment. Like, it's not till death do us part. Like, it's not something that's very serious. And we want to use birth control and stuff as, okay, so now we don't have children to tie us down with these men. It's like, I've heard the statement that men are afraid of commitment, but it's starting to seem like women are kind of afraid of commitment, too reason why i said um i feel like our generation is changing so women are we are becoming more independent because it's not the same like no offense but like compared to now Mm. and 30 years ago the amount of women that are educated and then because they're more educated they have access to higher paying roles and more debt though Because what is education? Like men, I mean, not men, but women being educated is not like, I think, man, I'm old fashioned, but like maybe I belong in the Middle East somewhere. I'm telling you, because I don't think women need to be educated. I don't think women, and I mean, I'm not talking about like, yeah, you need to know how to read, write, do math and all that stuff, but I'm talking about going and getting degrees and stuff like having these schools and institutions tell you that you're something that that you're not, you're still a woman at the end of the day. All these degrees do is make you think that you're on the same level as a man. All these degrees do is put you in competition. You want to make more money. Like, what are you, a man? Like... They got all these degrees and don't even know how to take care of a home. A woman will have all these degrees and don't even know how to raise a child. A woman will have all of these degrees and not even know how to be submissive to a man. That's the only point that I'm making. That's the only point that I'm doing my best to make like that. The fact that you're educated means nothing if you're not educated in the right areas. They have more debt. Okay, okay, but that's... I would say... What leaves women in a bad place financially is kids. And because we... This girl do not like kids. And children, I don't like calling kids... I don't like calling children kids because, like, kids are baby goats. So, But, like, she do not like children. I can tell. Or she just don't want to have children or something. She was with some man. He, he, like, hurt her so bad. Like, she just can't even see it happening for her or something like that. I don't know. But, like we have access to birth control now that's what i mean by i feel like we have power and i wouldn't go to the extreme of saying a woman needs a man but i wouldn't also go to the extreme of saying a woman can't live without a man i feel like there's an in-between but you shouldn't use extreme women love these gray areas these in-between areas means i think it's extremely easy to say that oh then if he was young and then you had a child, and then you say you didn't need the man. You'd be all right raising a child on your own because you wouldn't need a man. You just got your child. Whereas you might not think that you need a man when you've got a child, but actually you do. But you won't realize that until you see the consequences through your life and through your child's life. Because when women have children, it's all right to say, I'm going to leave the marriage because you're going to leave the marriage with the child, the house, the car, his money. You're, you don't have to work again. So when you're saying that women have the power from like way back when, because I'm the oldest, so way back when in my day, I wanted, when I had to go to, um, when you go to school and they say, what do you want to do when you grow up? And you go and see the officer. Two things I wanted to be, either a housewife or a lorry driver. I know when I was younger, I, I wanted to be a psychologist, but if somebody asked me today what I aspire to be, 
Like, and if I could go back and smack backhand my old self, my young self, girl, you want to be a wife and a mother. That needs to be your only aspiration in life. And in doing so and being a good wife and a mother, you'll be able to achieve a bunch of other different things. Like, I still have businesses. I'm a wife and a mother right now. I still have businesses. I still have other things that preoccupy my time but guess what i don't have to work and i have the ability to be able to do these things so it's like all of like what the world and society tells us to achieve as women really has us in a place where we're living in delusion because it's not really what's good for a woman like it's really not what's good for a woman and it's hurting men in the process because not only do women need men but men need women and she told me those are the two most stupid things she ever heard of come out of that room. And all through my life, all I wanted to be was a housewife. And all of my friends thought it was Don't crazy. That me. was the worst job ever. But some of the most successful couples I know is with the woman at home. Because she, the man brings everything in. But I can see you smiling as a young person. There's nothing wrong being a housewife and having your side hustle. I wouldn't add it. You can have your side hustle, you can have your own business, you can have your own law firm, you can have everything like that and still be a housewife. And when young people look at it like, oh, there's something wrong being, being a housewife, wait till you're 35 and you're on your own and there's no man and it's just you and your pets. Because it's cool to think like that now, but like even before I got married the first time and now I'm on my second marriage and that is something to be ashamed about. There's nothing good about a failed marriage. But like before I was married, I thought that I was going to be by myself. So it's like, yeah, I was thinking that then at 25, 26, right? I wasn't like most women. We have this thing where we're so emotional. All we can think about is right now. We have no um, foresight. We have good hindsight. We're able to look back and see things clearly, but to look forward and have a clear picture of what the future is going to hold and how to get there, like outside of making money and stuff, I'm talking about as a woman, we're very short-sighted and emotional because had I known the, the real importance of life, I would have never been talking like that. I, I, w I would I'm so glad that my mind changed and that my mindset is where it is now because I just would be so sad like I, fe I feel so sad when I see women over 30 alone thinking that they don't need a man and um just still being rebellious and still letting the world and social media mess their minds up as far as like what they need and what they're supposed to be doing and how they should look. Like it really makes my heart sad because you have the potential to be something so great. It's something so great for a man who can, in return, pour back into you. And y'all can just be, like, pouring into each other. And it could just be so great. Like, this sister right here in a green shirt, she is beautiful. Like, not that beauty is everything, but she's beautiful in the sense that if she just would change her mindset she could get any man she desired because all men want is submission all men want is a woman that wants to be led so i mean man the world is really like a woman could get anything she wanted she just acted the right way and then you're gonna think you don't have to be alone i've got my degree i've traveled i've done this i've got my house i've got my business who are you going to travel with your old friends your old female friends, because nobody of any status is going to want to travel with you, especially if you've got children. So you might think that things were different back in the day, but things were actually better back in the day because people got married. I am one person. I believe in till death do you part. We don't value marriage anymore. Marriage has no value. Matter of fact, people seem scared to get married these days. And it's like... I don't personally like I used to but personally now today I do not believe in boyfriend and girlfriend I don't believe in um none of that stuff like it's either we're going to get married or 
what are we doing? Because that's just the way that it, it should work like that. Because if people thought like that, if people thought that seriously when they were talking to somebody, then there would be more, I believe, more relationships that are long term. Because people go into stuff, they don't even know themselves. They don't know what they want. The man is not ready to provide, is not ready to protect. The woman is not ready to submit and is not ready to um to let go of her independence. And it's like we keep doing this, these perpetual patterns of short-term relationships, fling situationships is going to continue. Like, nobody really values marriage anymore, and it's a shame. You shouldn't be allowed to get divorced. Somebody should have to die before you get divorced, because that's what it says, till death do you part. And if more people went into marriage thinking, you know what, get counseling, let me go and do this, talk to my elders, talk to my parents then have more successful marriages and i miss the fact too that we don't have good elders anymore because i come from a family full of women and all the women are alone do you feel me my grandma is 82 years old she is alone she's been alone for like the past 30 40 years something like that she been alone she ain't had no relationship she ain't had no man she don't trust men she's scared of men and it's kind of like I feel bad for her. I feel bad for my aunt, my great aunts, um, who I'm going to see, who are now past 50, who I'm going to see live the rest of their lives alone. Like, I pray for them, and I hope that they can change their minds and stop being so rebellious and rough with men. But, you know, after a certain age, what they call hitting the wall, you get set in your ways as a woman, as a person. It's not just about a woman, because anybody at a certain age gets set in their ways. But... I almost kind of want to say especially women though because women need some type of leadership and if a woman is just leading herself she's going to be leading herself in circles like I've not seen it go any other kind of way for a woman and, I, and I'm surrounded by women in my family so I know like I know what it looks like personally it wouldn't seem so bad as a young person I agree with you I'm not against marriage I don't have anything against marriage but I'm just realistic at um, in terms of generation we're in, I feel like that's where a lot of the things you're saying, I disagree. Um, and another thing that I feel like you're saying you need a man for is when you have a child, which I understand because parenting is a two, it's for two mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. It's not for one person, regardless of if you're a man or a woman, you need two people to parent. However, I wouldn't say that a woman needs like what you're saying about so you're saying a woman that's 35 she's done a lot like in terms of financially she's had a lot of life experiences but she's not with a man you're saying her life is unsuccessful um i don't know what auntie jenny finna say but personally me i believe if a woman is 35 she living alone all she got is her money she got a bunch of cats and stuff yeah <sighs> I guess everybody got their own definitions of what success is, right? And that's cool. Like, I get it. That's cool. But, like, as a woman, you're on the decline after 30, right? You stop being able to really have children um, as well as when you were in your prime. And um, your prime for a woman being your 20s, 18 to, like, 25. And um, after then, it's kind of like... Um, you're getting more and more set in your way. Like, what man is going to want you? Yes, it's unsuccessful to be alone. That's for anybody. What the heck? Like, nobody should be alone. That is not... Why? I just don't get how being how, how anybody can see their life as successful when they're living it by themselves. I don't know. I personally don't want to be alone, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. Just no, because she's not got a man. I'm not saying that. I'm that's... saying she's a bit successful, but will she be satisfied and won't she be lonely? Will or she, she be won't happy? Be lonely? What are you going to do when it comes to 50 mm -hmm. and you're on your own? 60 when you're on? 70 when you're on your own? And if you intend to be on your own, like say 35, if you can say, right, you know what, I'm not going to settle down to my 35, start planning your pension. Start planning that when you're old, or you're disabled or you can't manage yourself, who's going to look after you? You might as well start planning these things ahead because a lot of people don't look ahead like that. But if you had a husband... Women typically don't look ahead like that because that's really a man thing. Men are very logic-based. They have great foresight. When they're a good man, they know who they are as a man. Like, they have good foresight. They're able to um, 
plan the future and have a vision. That's where women come in. Like we're supposed to be the um like the vision is the seed, right? And the man plants the seed in the woman, right? And then we give birth to that vi like everybody man this dynamic of the man and a woman is such a special one like we both need each other because a man can give a woman his ideas and his vision and a woman will come back and give birth to those things a man will give a woman his seed and she'll come back and give him a child a man can give a woman a house and she'll make it a home like we definitely need each other and in both of those areas we should be fully gratified by the things that we're doing for each other and you're married, pensions and all them things. So if you're going to be like enjoying your life now, I had my pension at 18, so I was different. I was one of those early people. I but you need to start well. planning. I have a pension as early. well. That's good. You need to start <laughs> planning early and think about property and not traveling and things like that. Then I can say, well, if you're going to be on your own. You wouldn't have to think about that stuff if you just stopped thinking that you didn't need a man. Like... <laughs> Fine, but be happy on your own. But can you be happy on your own at 60, 70, 80? No. And that's the one thing, just to back what she's saying up, the least happy group of women is women over the age of 45 that have that are single and childless, that make over $47,000 per year. But that's not what I'm saying. I'm not advocating for a woman that's childless and she doesn't have a partner at 40. I'm just saying, just because... You don't have some but those women who are 45 and childless and making all that money who are the most unhappiest group of people are the women who were thinking when they were younger i don't need a man and now they're here at 45 hitting the wall alone don't a man want a 45 year old who can't give him children can't give him innocence most of the time can't give him submission so you're probably going to be alone for the rest of your life like I don't want this for my sisters. Like, what? This really moves me because I've seen it in my family. Like, I've seen what it does, what it does to the woman. Like, how it turns into bitterness and vitriol for the man. Like, I don't want this for my sisters, especially my peers. Like, we got to start valuing being women again, being feminine, and being married. Someone at thirty-five doesn't mean you keep going to sixty and seventy mm. again. Going to extremes. I'm 53, because, that's not extreme. No, but you keep mentioning 60, Talk to me, your mic, talk to me, your mic. You keep yeah. mentioning 60, 70. That's extreme from 35. But that's, I'm 53. You don't, you don't go from, you haven't mentioned, okay, a woman at 40. You're, you're jumping, you're jumping years. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying. Well, Pearl just mentioned a woman at 40, 45, who is the statistic of the unhappiest group of people. The women at 45 with no children. So it's kind of like. That's what I'm that's what I'm saying. Like a lot of stuff that my sisters be saying be really based in delusion because it's all emotions. And I know we like to ask men who hurt them, but in my opinion, who hurt you, woman? Like to have you thinking the way that you do about men. Like why do you think like this? What healing needs to take place? Like what do y'all think? Do y'all think that women need men? Men. Do you think that y'all need women like don't y'all think that we need each other i don't know let's get the conversation started below if you haven't already make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so that you can be alerted the next time that i upload a video i appreciate y'all for listening to me today and i just hope that you have a peaceful peaceful rest of your week and shalom